What is the gospel or the evangel or the good news? It's effectively the story of Jesus Christ. We have the gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, where each writer follows the, the life and the ministry of Christ, but they focus on the culminating event of the crucifixion and the resurrection. Paul himself in 1 Corinthians uh, 15, in those opening verses, says, I declare to you the gospel, that Christ died according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. So effectively, that's the gospel in a nutshell, that Christ died for us and rose again on the third day. But of course, that needs to be explained or unpacked or applied, if you will. And the New Testament goes on to do that in the writings of Paul and the other apostles, explaining what the gospel means for us. In Ephesians 2.8, for example, Paul says that you are saved by grace through faith. We are saved by grace, which means it's a free gift given, an undeserved gift that we could never work for, that is freely given to whoever believes. We are saved by grace through faith. And what is our faith in? Our faith is in the gospel, the fact that Christ died on the cross, uh, was rose on the third day and he did that for us for the new testament unpacks the gospel and explains that when christ died on the cross he paid for our sins he paid the penalty for our sins the wages of sin being death and he shed his blood for the forgiveness of sins so there is an extension of of forgiveness and eternal life um, uh, through the work and the person of jesus christ so when i put my faith in him something incredible happens. Salvation is given to me as a gift. Uh, John puts it this way in John 1.12 in his gospel. He says, as many as received him, to them were given the power to become the sons and daughters of God, as many as believe on his name. In John's gospel alone, he uses the word believe a hundred times. For that's good news, isn't it? Just to believe, not working for our salvation, but it's by faith. When Paul wrote the, to the Galatian believers, he warned them against false teachers who were adding to the gospel or perverting the gospel. For they were saying, for you to be saved, you must observe the law. Or in other words, your salvation is by good works. What Christ did wasn't enough. And Paul contested that and says, no, the gospel is that Christ died on the cross, was resurrected, and that's enough. That is the payment for your salvation. And the extension or the invitation of the gospel now is that whoever simply believes, putting their faith in Christ as their savior, is, is saved in a moment by his grace. And that is good news. That is the gospel.